Welcome to the homework for Lesson 3, Grade 3, Module 3. Write your name here first, and we're going to complete this pattern. Hmm, we've got 30, 60, and 90. Those are all multiples of 10. So let's see what happens if we count by 10s to fill this in. 30, 40, 50, 60. It works. Okay, so we'll keep doing it. 70. 80, 90, and then 100. And then find the value of the unknown. <clears throat> uh, here it's the product of 10 times 2, and that's 20. And this one here is the product of 3 times 10, which is 30. And this one, F, is the product of 4 times 10, which is 40. I'm starting to notice a pattern here. And P is the product of 5 times 10, which is 50. W is 10 times the product of 10 times 6, which is 60. N is the product of 10 times 7, that's 70. And 8 tens is G, 80. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, each equation contains a letter representing the unknown. Find the value of the unknown. Same thing we were just doing. 8 divided by 2 equals n. So, how many 2s does it take to make 8? 2, 4, 6, 8. It takes 4 2s. 3 times something is 12. Well, if you don't know it, 3, 6, 9, 12, that's 4 threes. And something times 8 is 40. How many 8s does it take to make 40? I know this one takes 5. And 18 divided by 6. How many 6s does it take to make 18? 6, 12, 18. It takes 3. That's our quotient. D times, this one's a missing factor. Something times 4 is 24. That's 6 4s. And then H is a missing dividend. Because we know our divisor is 7 and our quotient is 5. So something divided by 7 equals 5. Well, if we have a divisor and a quotient, we, the, that's the same as having factors in a multiplication equation, right? So we can figure out our dividend just by multiplying 7 times 5. That's 35. And 6 times 3 is 18. We already did th uh, 18 divided by 6 was 3. We already had that kind of. Um, and then 32 divided by something is 4. So how many 4s does it take to make 32? It's going to take a lot of them. It's going to take almost 10, right? Because 10 of them would be 40 divided by, right, if it was... That would be 40 would be 10 fours. So it's a, cu a couple less. 10 fours and then one nine fours would be 36. And then one less four would be 32. So it takes eight fours. Kind of work that way backwards in my head from 40. Now, sometimes it's a little bit easier than, than uh, skip counting up. If you know you're going to have to skip count up a lot of numbers. Pedro buys four books at the fair for $7 each. What's the total amount Pedro spends on four books? So the books are $7 each and he buys four of them. Use the letter B to represent the total amount Pedro spends and then solve the problem. All right, so that's when we write our equation. We'll use the letter B. But first, okay, so we've read it. And what I like to do is part of reading is really kind of summarizing it. You're going to have like a, a two or th a, a two or three sentence story. And just think of like we have a main character. There's something that he does or she does. 
Uh, it's usually something we have to count and think about what's being counted and just try to summarize that. It's not much of a story, but we have four books. And each of them is $7. So this is the drawing phase. And each of these is one book. And the whole thing we know is four times seven equals, and here's the letter B, the total amount that he spends. And it's four times seven dollars. B equals, and if you wanted to skip count, you could do that. Seven, 14, 21, 28. And we need a answer statement. Pedro, wait a minute. Capital P for Pedro. He deserves it. Spent. $28 on books. Pedro hands, okay, so this is going to the same character. The story goes on to part two here. Pedro hands the cashier three $10 bills. How much change will he receive? Write an equation to solve and use the letter C to represent the unknown. So he's paying the cashier three tens, right? Ten, ten, ten. And he's got to get change back from the books are only 28. So he's going to have to get some money back for it to be and we call that change so a lot of times if you're not that familiar about how money transaction works when you go into a store you pay cash for something if you don't have the exact amount on you then you usually don't you pay a little bit too much and then the cashier will give you the difference back between what you paid and what the what the stuff costs so here, Pedro has three tens, so he can't pay exactly $28. So we, we know the books are almost all of it, because this is this here is 30, right? $30. And we know the books, and you don't really have to chop up the books like this. They're almost all of the $30. And the letter C here, that's his change. That's the difference between what he pays and what it costs. And so that's how much money they have to give him back to make up the difference. So the change is going to be, and we know what how much this is. Right, because we just solved it. This is twenty-eight dollars. So it's thirty minus twenty-eight equals C. Pedro gets two dollars. Two dollars in change. C equals two dollars. Okay, that's everything you need. Read it. We we drew it. We wrote our equation with an, a letter for the unknown, letter C, and we have our answer statement. That's everything we have to have. On field day, the first grade dash is twenty-five meters long. 
the third grade dash is twice the distance of the first grade dash. How long is the third grade dash? Use a letter to represent the unknown and solve. So we write our equation, that's what we'll have. So we know that the first, okay, so we read it. The first graders don't run quite as far as the third graders, right? About half as far. So let's draw. We know the first graders, and this is pretty easy. You can probably do all this. You might be able to just do all this in your head, right? So this is first, first graders. They go for 25 meters, and the third graders... Go twice as far and in our picture um, this will be the D we'll call it D for dash so 25 Two twenty fives, right? So two times twenty five equals D. D equals fifty. You might just know that one. Two twenty fives are good ones to know to skip count twenty five, fifty, seventy five, a hundred, hundred twenty five, and so on, one hundred fifty. Those are really good ones to know, especially when you start talking about money problems, uh, because quarters. Uh, adding up to cents and eventually dollars. So now we need an answer statement. The third grade dash is 50 meters long.